फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर अमडेकर एट द एंड ऑफ फर्स्ट सीरीज ऑफ सेवन वीडियोज आई थॉट इट इज टाइम जस्ट टू रिकेपिचुलेट वट वी हैव बीन एक्सपोज टू सो फार इन दिस सीरीज वी डिसाइडेड टू डिस्कस इशूज विच टू माई माइंड आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अचीव एक्सलेंस एंड रैशनैलिटी इन मेडिकल प्रैक्टिस बट ऑफन आर इग्नोर्ड एंड नॉट मच डिस्कस्ड of course i started in the first video with a developing a concept of steer which stands for sensitizing to think enabling excellence and rationality and the whole focus of all our subsequent videos will revolve around a very important process of thinking friends if we don't think we miss many things even if we know those and therefore this first concept makes us realize that every time collecting information is easy but giving a thought to it cannot turn it into otherwise knowledge and further into wisdom this is extremely important and wisdom is not only to get the best for the disease but also for the patient in whose body resides the disease and even to the family and the community in my next video i brought out an important issue which we almost never consider in our routine practice and that is we the doctors are not only disease managers but also health promoters friends community depends on us to guide them about how to remain healthy and we must take every opportunity when we meet a patient with a disease that we also give him an idea how he could have avoided that disease how he could have been very healthy and health is not only physical but also mental health and we discussed during this video that 30% of adults today are likely to be suffering from mental health problems and the children are also not lagging behind and then this is an important issue that we all must remember thereafter i took up a topic if the science medicine or art friends there is no doubt that science is medicine but it's equally an art as well and unless we have an harmonious balance between medicine as science and also art we will not achieve excellence and rationality and art is not only thus the bedside clinical medicine an art of developing this skill but also it is the art of human behavior that is expected out of all our doctors and friends it is the art of medical practice which consists of ethics beside that compassion commitment honesty and so on and so forth i felt this is an important part which often a recently trained uh, doctors are not exposed to during training period and therefore they may not be aware of it at all and that's why this was an important topic for us to discuss thereafter dr chokani brought out a very important issue that the changing trends is becoming a challenge to all of us who are already trained and what he emphasized was that the medicine is really advancing so fast in science as well as technology that keeping updating to all these advances is nearly impossible and we may have to be selectively updating and that is very very important but that's a very big challenge for all of us and therefore friends in the medical profession we are students forever and we must try to keep updated as much as possible maybe a selective updating but he also emphasized that medical practice is becoming a rat practice now and a rat race and unfortunately the community also has a very unrealistic expectations this has become a challenge we on one hand every doctor wants to do his best but the community also must understand that science of medicine has limitations and the outcome of any management by the doctor also depends on a factor how patient responds to his management and that's why this is an important topic for all of us that this has become a challenge at present during medical practice thereafter 
I discussed about an important part of our medical practice and that is communication and counselling. Friends, communication is to give the relevant information to the patient so that the patient is aware what is wrong with him, why is it happening, what is happening, what is likely to happen. And the counselling is one step ahead and that is we must help him, guide him, assist him to get over his problems, to get over his suffering. Unless we spend time in communication and counselling, we do not touch the mind of the patient. He doesn't get a full faith in his doctor. He doesn't get confident and surely this is one aspect that is very important to produce an ultimate excellence and a good outcome in the patient management. Having given these aspects, thereafter we got Dr. Palni Raman to discuss about another issue which we often ignore and that is early life origin of adult diseases. Friends, many adult diseases like say diabetes, hypertension, obesity and what not do start very early in life and there are enough clues which we need to monitor during older children or young adults and if we pick those clues and start with the preventive strategies we may not be able to avoid those issues but we will certainly delay the onset of those problems like say hypertension. It's important to monitor blood pressure almost every year or two to any young adult who comes to you and that could be a start of his future hypertension and much before the first symptom of such adult diseases come to be realized we doctors can pick up and sound the patient how to prevent further worsening. This is an important aspect which we all must give really a credence to it. And thereafter, Dr. Anjali Gokarna talked further narrowing down this early life origin to first thousand days of life. What are these first thousand days? Through the pregnancy, nine months and thereafter first two years, they together make 1000 days. And she emphasized that this is the foundation of future life, a quality life, also the lifespan. And how do we achieve it? By good monitoring of growth, development, giving right advice of nutrition, exercise, in other words, give him an advice of how to start the life with a good health foundation and that will go a long way to keep his future life in a good shape. Friends, give a thought to all these issues. First, thousand days of life are an important things to look at. Thereafter, an early life, childhood, also the young adulthood, it's important to monitor very closely the health parameters and if you pick up any early deviation, you are likely to avoid further worsening and this preventive strategy is all every doctor's responsibility besides just treating diseases. I thought these seven topics that we discussed in the first series are not usually thought of, often ignored, often given not so important and therefore we thought before we start discussing how we approach a given patient, which itself is a skill, of course the knowledge too, but much before that we thought it's important that we get sensitized to think all these issues and I felt each of these issues that we have discussed are very very important. Friends, without such thought process, without trying to imbibe these actions, we will never achieve an excellence and rationality which is the aim of this steer concept. And today we doctors owe all this to the community at large. Having said this, this is the time now that the subsequent topics will really start how we approach a given patient and even that is a lot of skill. Friends, in the next video it's going to be Dr. Mahesh Mohite who will first talk of how to pick up an early emergency or serious situation. 
that is very very important to save life and i hope you have enjoyed this first series and i wish you continue to be with us every tuesday and friday of course all videos will be archived as well and we certainly like your comments through the email that we have already uh, given it to you i hope you enjoyed all this and be with us all the time thank you very much